So we've got a question, Harley. With all the recent drama, do you still think the fully raw 80-10-10 lifestyle is sustainable? Share your thoughts, comments, and criticisms. People are trying to get me in trouble. What do I think? I think Doug and Christina got a fantastic message. Fantastic message. It's one we've promoted for many, many years. We just don't like the, the arrogance or the fakeness or whatever that can come with it sometimes. But, yeah, we think it's a great message, man. Fucking oath. Is it sustainable? For sure. Depends on the person, on their financial situation, their, uh, where they live, things like that. But definitely how lean they are. Like for us, doing all raw foods, you know, we got, if we ate that way all the time, we get too lean. So it depends where you are. So is it sustainable? It depends. But it's a fantastic lifestyle. I recommend people, everyone do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Eat as much fruit as you can. But what isn't really addressed, Doug and Kristen don't really talk about it. Like Doug says, if you can't get fruit, don't eat. Skip the meal. Can't get fruit in the next meal? Skip the meal. Keep skipping meals until you get the fruit. I think that's a good thing to say to create a bit of drama or whatever, but it's not real world fucking advice. Dinner we had um, where we were trying to order, we were going to order like either pasta or salad, and we were so sad about it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and we, th we thought about lying on our deathbed and realizing like we'll never say like, I'm so glad I ate so many salads. Uh. And <laughs> we watched this very hearty, healthy couple from Australia yeah. like dig into these giant dishes of pasta, and we watched it like porn. And they did not care. They, they did not care. They just dug into it, and it was yeah. like, I wish I could do that. Mm. On their deathbed, they're going to just talk about how great the pasta was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> great fettuccine. I've done that before. You'd, I'd be on a plane, I'd skip a meal. Get to your destination, your glycogen's like low because you haven't eaten for 24 hours or whatever, or haven't eaten enough, and, and you go to ride your bike out of the airport and you're just like, oh, it's flailing, or you go and talk to someone, you just can't talk to them because you're like, oh, I can think about it, it's getting some food. So you become really flaky, uh, fady, floundering raw foodist because you're not getting enough calories because you're going pure, 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 and that's not what we want in the, in the health message. We want people who are strong, fit, not fake. We want people who are authentic because they're carved up, they can do shit. Be real. So my tip would be, if you can't get your fruit, have starches or have tin fruit or fruit juice. Obviously, people know my backup plan. Our backup plan, myself, for fruit. That's why we're so lean and so fit. Because you get, if you just ate the fruits, you know, you get fucking pretty lean. And then if you didn't eat fruit because you couldn't get fruit, you get anorexic. So it's that's not what we want. That's not what we want. We want people who are carved up and have high energy. So fruit's fantastic. Fully raw 80 10 10 message. What's happening now is Christine is taking it over, trying to take over the 80 10 10. Now it's fully raw. People say, You're fully raw. I'm fully raw. I've been fully raw six months, 17 days, and 46 hours. So fully raw is the new 80 10 10 paradigm now because Christine's just like, Thanks for that. <laughs> and that's cool. But I'm saying it is a sustainable lifestyle for certain people. If you're really overweight, fucking oath, man. You're going to lose so much fat and fluid on this fruit lifestyle. You're going to get as lean as us, man. Look at all of us, man. You know, we mean freely eating vegan pizzas and baked potatoes and bananas that are coming out of our ears. Very, very lean. Everyone who's on the high fruit thing long term is very, very lean. Very, very slim. Regardless of, like, Christina's not fit at all. I went for a job with her one time in New York City. And she had <laughs> another story. She, she was running with music. I said, dude, if we're going to go for a run together, have a conversation together, take the fucking earphones out. Let's, let's have a real chat, you know, like. Listening to music when you're riding or running with someone's a bit, you know. Anyway, so Christina doesn't have much fitness at all. She's very, very, doesn't have much fitness at all, but she's a very slim lady. Same with Doug. Doug is like, can run as fast as a snail sort of thing, but he's very, very lean. So it's, people say, oh, you've got to be running like a sub 228 marathon or 230 marathon or to be lean. Uh, 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 uh. So you can have very poor fitness levels and still be very lean on this lifestyle. So that's, that's a testimony to the power of fruits. If you do it long term, you get very, very slim. Very, very slim. So, another thing would probably be the financial aspects of it. People say, talk about that. Well, you know, it's more expensive for sure. Like, I had a durian feed last night. Organic durian. That cost me close to a thousand baht. That's three days' wage for an average Thai person. This is organic durian. So, 
Not every people in Thailand can afford to eat this lifestyle. And they say, just ate bananas and wild greens. But no one's going to fucking do that. People say, oh, you can do this lifestyle just bananas and wild greens. Yeah, that's great. No one's going to fucking do it. Okay? Maybe you or me for like a few months, but no one's going to do it longer than that. So let's be real. Let's be fucking real. Give people real solutions, real world situations. It's expensive. There's no doubt about it. It's an, it's an expensive lifestyle. Maybe if you're living in the wholesale markets in Los Angeles, yeah, for sure. But for everyone else in the world, it's expensive. Starches are obviously cheaper. Rice is the cheapest cow on the planet. But your health is worth the effort. So if you want to do it, find the ways to get the extra money and spend it. Obviously, Christine and Doug don't really address it because they're you know, fully loaded. But most people aren't fully loaded. Right? So let's give them fucking solutions instead of making them feel guilty because they can't afford it or can't get it or just can't eat it, whatever. Yeah? I'm not about the purity thing anymore where you put yourself up on a pedestal and give people like an impossible standard to maintain. They can't do it. Oh, you're not fully raw? Oh, wow. Well, well, I am. Too bad. You know, you, you, you can't find fruit for the meal? Skip it. Eat cucumbers, man. So it's, we're trying to provide real world situation because most people, probably 99.9% of people that we used to talk to five years ago about this lifestyle aren't even doing it this year, today. Even people who are really hardcore. People used to come to Thailand with me. They're like, no, raw food, whatever. Because they've made it so extreme, they yo-yo back to whatever. So you want to have, you want to be extreme for sure. Extremism is good, but you want to be sustainable extreme versus extreme <laughs> smash and just blowing yourself apart. Does that make sense? So is it sustainable lifestyle? Definitely for certain individuals, for certain times. Have a backup plan. Make it a sustainable lifestyle. Fruit should be part of your breakfast and lunch every day as a minimum. Do your best you can. Have a backup plan. Carve the fuck up. Post your comments and questions down below. Come and join us at the, uh, the Thai Festival in July. It's going to be fantastic. We're going to teach you how to so many things. And it's going to be for free. No money. Just come and get your ass over.